Okay, we're talking about more Maud. <laughs> this show is hilarious. You know, I'm people should focus on this more. I got three people to like my video last time I talked about it. This is a show that captures a different type of comedy. It's not like today. You know, these people can be funny without swearing and going out of control and doing dumb things. They did these people do dumb things too, but not like um today. Okay. So this is still a night, we're now in 1974, well no, the first episode's 73, and the next two I'm going to talk about are in 1974, so we're getting into a new year for this, just like it's a new year right now. Okay, The Office, well let me get this right, um, uh, let's see, um, Walt, alright, The Office Party, Walter turns from a Benevolent host into Scrooge when he and Maud host a Christmas Eve party for his employees. <laughs> kind of funny. Sure that he has a perfect team relationship with his employees at the appliance store, Walter is shocked when they announce some changes they have made, they have in mind for the future and orders them out of his house. They wanted to unionize, you know, they wanted to have votes, they wanted to have a say at the workplace, and he didn't like that. And, you know, at the end, it all turned out right, but that doesn't change someone's mind. If they don't want to help somebody out, I mean, they're just not going to do it. They might go along with you for the meantime, but you'll have serious problems ahead of you. Okay, the lovebirds. The author Vivian love affair comes apart at the seams when Vivian begins to resent Arthur's cons constant eulogizing of his late wife in every conversation, which, you know, anyone would be annoyed by that. I mean, we mention it once in a while, not all the time. Maud thinks Arthur's, Arthur's romantic memories of his late wife are perfectly natural. No, she just wants everyone to be good, and she's the only one that can yell and scream at everybody. Walter sides with Vivian, but admits he's pretty sick of hearing about Maud's ex-husbands. <laughs> but you know what? When you watch this show, you don't really hear that much about Maud's ex-husbands, so that's not true. This sparks an argument that shakes the walls of the Finley home. I have to say this is a pretty funny one, too. Maud's always very loud. That's the one thing I don't like about the show, though. It kind of becomes completely unrealistic, although everything already is. When you start screaming in every episode and yelling on top of your lungs in the house, I mean, it's about time they, like, toned her down a little. May, uh, she can yell a little, but not every over every little thing that happens. Okay, Maud's guest. Maud's flawed liberalism bubbles to the surface once more as she decides it would be a lovely gesture to invite an African American child from from the ghetto to live with them, with them for two weeks. I thought that was good. Francie Potter, <laughs> a saucy teenager from the ghetto, arrives at the Finley house in a resentful, uncooperative mood. And in a very short time, Maud realizes she's finally met her match. And in the end, everything turned all right. But let's be realistic. If if she had really done that, she would have had her ass completely handed to her. The house probably would have been on fire or something. Um, Because, you know, when you have some random person come to your house, you try to help them out, they, they trash the place. Okay. Let's take another look at that. I'm trying to make sure I didn't skip over any episodes. Uh, let's just say that I love this show and I do nothing to keep watching it over and over again. All these fan these shows from, what's his name? I keep getting the guy's name wrong. Does it show it anywhere on here? No. But anything from the guy, you know who I'm talking about. I have to say that you can't, just can't turn it down. It's a, it's very addicting comedy, but you gotta you gotta be a person that can live with it. A lot of people don't do it. You're missing out on a lot. This whole set, I don't know how this got messed up. That probably was shipping. I don't I didn't do it. Um, you can buy this for like forty forty five bucks for the whole show on DVD. I don't think you can stream this anywhere. And if you, the best I think you can do is maybe purchase it. I have no idea where you would find it. You can go on those services, but they'll make you watch commercials. Uh, I have no idea how you would watch this any other way. Because it's not something people will be looking for nowadays. Alright, bye-bye.